Applying to undergraduate programs in the US can be quite daunting for all you high schoolers. You have so many different essays, you have to evaluate universities. You also have to navigate application systems such as the Common App, the University of California Applications and Apply Texas. Now, the right timeline and being organized with the entire process can make it not only easy for you, but it could also be the difference between you cracking your dream admit or settling for something which is mediocre. Now, in today's video, I have the ideal timeline and strategy that you need to employ so that you don't make any mistakes and avoid common pitfalls. So, stay tuned. I am Srikar Sanapredi. I am the co-founder of Gradwine and an Ivy League grad. Over the past six years, Gradwine has guided thousands of students to the finest undergraduate programs abroad, including schools like Stanford, Harvard, MIT, UC Berkeley, Columbia, the University of Pennsylvania, and scores of others. So you know that the information coming from us is absolutely accurate because we've been there and done that. Now, before we start with the timeline, you'll have to understand that there are three distinct deadlines for American universities. One is the early action deadline. The other is the early decision. And the final one, of course, is your regular decision. Now, early action is essentially an earlier deadline where students apply to colleges that they're specifically keen on. Now, this shows the university that you are very focused on attending their college and then that you've organized your applications well. This sends a good message and therefore, because of your intent, your likelihood of getting in is far higher. Now, early decision is slightly different. Early decision is again showing intent to the college from your side. But understand that if the college gives you the admit, if you apply ED for their institution, then that decision is binding. That means you'll have to withdraw your applications to all other universities and join the university that you have ED to for sure. Do you apply to ED or no? That depends on you. You can schedule a free consultation call with us to try and understand whether it makes sense for your case. Now, regular decision deadlines are of course far, far later. Um, you can apply to them in a more relaxed manner. However, we don't recommend you do that because it doesn't show as much intent and you're applying to the university with a lower chance of getting in. EA is the way to go. Now, your early action and early decision deadlines are on the 1st of November. Now, keep that as your end milestone. With that, we will dive into the detailed timeline. All right, so let's jump into the timeline, right? And the first milestone in this process that I'm going to bring up is the 1st of August. Now, I'm going to tell you why the 1st of August is an important date. And I'm also going to tell you what you need to be done with by this date. Now, first of all, by the 1st of August, you need to finish shortlisting your choice of universities. Now, the list obviously needs to be balanced with ambitious, moderate and safe universities. That is a complicated process in itself, but we would be happy to help you do that. So if you want help with that, you can schedule a free consultation call using the link in the description with us. Now, sticking to the timeline, you need to finish your university shortlisting by the 1st of August. The other very, very important thing you need to finish by the 1st of August is finishing the Common App essay. The Common App, as you know, gives you six choices out of which you need to choose and you need to write about your personal experiences. Now, how to tackle the Common App essay is going to be the topic of an entire different video. But all you need to know is that by the 1st of August, you need to finish your Common App essay and also have your university sorted out. August 1st also happens to be the date that the Common App opens and we strongly recommend that by the 1st of August, as soon as it's open, you create an account and start filling your personal details at least. Now, you might ask me uh, if Common App opens only in August, why do I need to be done with the Common App essay a lot earlier? Well, because your application is not going to be only about the Common App essay. There's going to be several supplementary essays and we suspect that you might be tackling anywhere between 15 to 20 essays if you end up applying to about 10 schools. Therefore, you need to budget time for those supplementary essays in subsequent subsequent months. So August 1st, big date, get done with your university shortlist, get done with your common app essay and start filling your common app for sure. All right. So let's move on now to a date that is going to be very easy for all Indian students to remember at least August 15th, which is Independence Day, of course, by the 15th of August, you need to finish two very, very critical essays, which is the why this major essay. And the second would be the why this college essay, right? Now, like I told you, you'll be tackling close to 15 to 20 essays if you're applying to multiple schools, some of these essays repeat. So you can reuse previous drafts for subsequent colleges. Now, most colleges are certainly going to ask you why you wish to pursue this particular major in terms of how it fits into your long term goals. Most colleges would also want to know why you wish to attend their specific institution and you need to justify the offerings that the university has that are exciting to you and relevant to your goals. Now, if you finish primary 
three drafts for these two essays specifically. You can reuse and tailor them for multiple different universities. Tackling these two general essays first would see you cover at least six to eight perhaps of the 15 to 20 essays that you have to write. That's why starting with the right essay is important and that's why this timeline and strategy is incredibly important for you too. All right, so moving on to your next 15 day sort of timeline, right? And that is the 31st of August. Now, by the end of August, typically, you need to tackle what are known as the University of California essays. Now, of course, keep in mind that these essays will be applicable to you only if you're applying to universities in California. The University of California system gives you eight essay topics to choose from, and you can write any four of them. Now, the University of California deadlines are much later. They're going to be on the 30th of November. Why am I asking you to finish these essays earlier? Because these essay prompts are out early in the year. In fact, they're already out for the fall 2024 intake. Therefore, you have time to look at the prompts, evaluate which ones you can write best and start working on them. The advantage with finishing the University of California early is that some of these topics will repeat on your common app supplementary essays. And therefore, when these prompts are ready and in front of you, you might as well get them out of the way because they complete the University of California system, which you may be eventually applying to. And they will also cover a lot of essays that will repeat in your common app supplementary essays. All right, now we've come into the month of September and I'm going to tell you what you need to do during this specific month. Now that you've already completed a bunch of essays, you need to start working on the supplementary essays that are on Common App. Now, these supplementary essays will be available to you once Common App opens and you can start tackling them one by one based on the universities that you have selected. Now, there are a lot of universities that will take just the Common App as a requirement, but a lot of good universities tend to ask for supplementary essays that you'll have to attempt. You'll find these in the drop down box when you select the university within the Common App itself. You can start tackling them one by one. Now that you've worked on the why this major, why this college and the University of California supplementary essays, you will find that you have covered a lot of these common app supplementary essays and therefore you will be a lot less stressed during the month of September. The other thing that you definitely need to do by the 15th of September at least is to report your SAT scores to all the universities that you've decided to apply to. Understand that the SAT score may take anywhere between 7 to 14 days to reach the university. Therefore, pushing it right until deadline date to report the scores is not wise. If you report it by September, 15th, rest assured, all your scores will reach all your universities well before the deadline. So by the 1st of October, you need to finish all your supplementary essays. You should be in a situation where you only have any last minute application filling or any last minute polishing that you want to do to the rest of your application. The remaining 15 days until October 15th should only be used as a buffer to maybe polish your application or finish something that you may have missed. It can also be used to work on certain applied Texas essays if you're applying for Texas University. Universities. However, keep in mind that this year, a lot of popular Texas schools like UT Austin, UT Dallas, Texas A&M are on the Common App itself and therefore you don't have to do the Apply Texas application. This is an advantage for you and the application process will be far easier provided you have followed the guidelines up until this point. Alright, now we've arrived to the middle of October, October 15th. And we recommend that you keep this date as your internal deadline to submit all your applications. November 1st is typically the early action deadline or a lot of EDs are on the 1st of November as well. However, we recommend you don't stretch it till deadline day and aim to finish all your application materials by the 15th of October. Now you'll have regular deadlines that go up to December, January, February and even March. But we recommend you apply for the EAD, which is the early action deadlines for all your universities of choice because the likelihood of you getting in when you apply to the EA deadline is far far higher. There is no real point stretching the application to the regular decision. Now there's a final date that you have to keep in mind which is the 30th of November which is the University of California application deadline. Now sure you can choose to stretch it and apply sometime in November but since you finished your University of California essays a lot earlier you can apply much before the November 30th deadline there's no point in stretching so long. Now understand that the University of California has no concept of early action early decision and regular decision uh, it's a standard deadline on the 30th therefore you you can choose to apply anytime before the deadline. So I hope that timeline was helpful. I understand that it's a lot to take in and it can be a little overwhelming. Now add to that, you might have minor complications like your midterms, which are very important, or maybe an SAT attempt that you're planning in August or October. Now, of course, if you are planning those SAT attempts and if you really need time off to study for your midterms, then you can tweak the timeline slightly and tailor it to your needs. And of course, if you need a personalized consultation and clarification on any of these concepts, you can always schedule a free consultation with us at www.gradwine.com or using the link in description. We'd love to help you out. 
Now, if you like this content and found it helpful, please like, share and subscribe and share this video with all your friends in school who are going to be applying to foreign universities soon.